Blessed is our God always, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, Christ our God, and our hope. Glory to you, heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, that we were present in filling all things, treasury of blessings, and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Amen. Ayos o Theos, Ayos Ischiros, Ayos o Thanatos eleison imas. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Ayos o Theos, Ayos Ischiros, Ayos o Thanatos eleison imas. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Kiri eleison, kiri eleison, kiri eleison. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faithful rulers by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace, an invincible standard both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications, gracious and all praise, Theotokos. Uphold the Orthodox Commonwealth, preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Again, let us pray for all devout and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Alexios and all our brotherhood in Christ. For you were a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy, consubstantial, and life-creating tr Trinity, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will to men. Glory to God in the, high, in the highest and on earth peace, good will to men. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me, many of those who rise up against me, many who say to me there is no salvation for him and his God? But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God, for you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. This deliverance is the Lord's upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have borne into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled morning all the day. My loins were burning with fever for my life is a total mockery. And there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who blustered mightily when my feet stumbled. 
As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. Those who render evil for good oppose me when I sought but justice. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me with all cause are multiplied. O Lord God, forsake me not. Stay not afar from me. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. And you, O Lord, have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord, of my salvation. <clears throat> o God, my God, <clears throat> at dawn I rise to you. My soul has thirsted for you and know how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place <clears throat> to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since you, your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choice as fair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth, and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find a light. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and always, and forever and ever, amen. O Lord God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in the grave, or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled and distressed. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintances. So wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord of my soul. May all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all the gifts from him who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransoms your life from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as a father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed, remembers we are only made of dust. A man his days resemble grass as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity and to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things. His kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord of my soul, bless the Lord of my soul in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer, in your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servants, since of all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down, he has crushed my life into the ground, he has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. 
I recalled the days of old and meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land. My soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord. My spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those of the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies. It is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies and bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer and your truthfulness. Give heed to my plea and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who enter it, with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. For our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious most Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Theos Kyrios ke pefanen imin, evlojimen oso erpomenos en onomati Kyriou. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon His holy name. God is the Lord and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and He revealed Himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Is passantin in exilten of logosu, os dexamen in ton logonsu, diu theo prepose dogmatisas. 
Την φύση των όντων ετράνωσας, τα των ανθρώπων ήθη κατ' εκκόσμισας, Βασίλειον Ιερά Τεύμα, Πατέρος Ιε, Χριστόν τον Θεόν Ικέτευε, Δωρήσαστε ημίν το Μεγ, το Μεγα Ελεος. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Your proclamation went forth into all the earth, for it accepted your word, through which you taught the dogmas befitting God. You expounded on the nature of all that is, and you arranged the morals of society. A royal priesthood, devout Father Basil, intercede with Christ our God to grant us his great mercy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In essence, being God most compassionate Master, you assume human nature without transmutation. Fulfilling the law of your own will, you accepted circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O Word. Eti ke eti rivini tu kiriu dei thoma. Anti lavu so son eleison ke dia filak son imas o teos ti si kariti. Tis panaia sacrando i per voi menis in doxo de spinisi monte a toco che ai partene marias, et a pandon tona iumim absentes, e aftus che ai lulis che passant in zo in imun, Christoto Theo parathomathon. Oti sonto kratos che suestini vasilia che dinimis che ai doxa, tu patros che tu iug tu ai ubnebados, nin che ai keistus ionas ton eonon. Amin. Let us all now extol holy Basil the Great, the basilical ornament of the Church of Christ, and the treasure of dogmatic teachings that never fail. For by means of them he trained us to worship and adore the Holy Trinity rightly, which is united in essence and distinguished in hypostasis. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> mm, o Basil, and O Basil, just and wise, by the Trinity standing, entreat that we who now sing your hymns and who honor your sacred memorial may be given on judgment day mercy, grace divine, and of offenses forgiveness, so that we might sing with mouth and heart praise and glory to him who loves humanity. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. The master of the world and creator of all things, the one who is on high with the Father and Spirit, on earth has been circumcised as an infant just eight days old. Lord divine indeed are all your works and amazing. You were circumcised on our behalf, loving master, the fulfillment of the Mosaic law. Ισαρίτου Σοφίας Θεοπρεπός, εξαντλήσας των πλούτων των μυστικών, πάσιν εθισαύρισας ορθοδοξία στα νάματα, των μετπιστών τα σκαρδία σε θέος εσέφρενοντα, των δε απίστων τα δόγματα αξίως βυθίζοντα. Ω Θεέν διαμ φωτέρον ας ευσεβίας ιδρώσιν, 
Edictis aititos distriados y permacos, hiera ja vasilie. Presbebe Cristo to theo ton tesmaton afesin doris aste. Tis eo tazus ipotho tin aia nimin su. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, having drawn out the mystical wreath of wealth of God's inexpressible wisdoms as from a well. You stored up the waters of orthodoxy for everyone, gladdening the hearts of the faithful with godly joy, appropriately drowning the dogmas of heretics. Therefore, by your labors, for the truth you became an invincible champion of the all-holy trinity. Holy Basil, the higher art, intercede with Christ our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those who also observing with longing your holy memorial. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. In your great benevolence, which is unbounded, you, O Lord, put on the form of us, your servants and your slaves, and you were circumcised in the flesh, and thus you granted great mercy to all mankind. By the power contained in your godly words, you demolished the heresies that were dark, you drowned all the arrogance and the ragings of Arius, for you proclaimed to mortals the Spirit is God indeed, and lifting your hands in prayer you killed off the enemies. You attacked the worship that Sibelius imagined, and brought the theology of Nestorius to an end. O Saint Basil, the higher art, intercede with Christ our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those observing with longing your holy memorial. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now the grace of your words, which derive from God, and the mystical height and sublimity of dogmas, became for us the ladder of divine ascent. For when you had acquired a spiritual trumpet, on it you, O Father, proclaimed divine doctrines. Therefore you are dwelling in a place of green pasture, O Holy One, and receive the rewards of for your labors. O Saint Basil, the hierarch, intercede with Christ our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses to those observing with longing your holy memorial. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. The creator and master of all the world, who took flesh from your all pure and holy <coughs> womb, may do the all blameless maid, the protectress of humanity. For this reason, all we faithful now have recourse to you, and we ask you, O Lady, to be forgiven our offenses, and to be delivered from eternal perdition, and every adversity that the Prince of the world inflicts, and we therefore cry out to you, intercede with your Son and our God, that he grant forgiveness of offenses, to those who piously worship the all-holy child you bore. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Dear Laiso, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, that they at all coast and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another 
and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. <laughs> For blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. From my youth many passions war against me. O my Savior, I implore you, uphold me and save me. You hate Zion, be shamed by the Lord, for you will be withered like grass in the fire. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit, every soul is animated. And when purified, it mystically is uplifted and brightened by the triune Godhead. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. From the Holy Spirit, the streams of grace well forth, they eat water, all creation, so that life be engendered. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart understanding. Hear this, all you nations, give ear, all you inhabitants of the world. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. For you are holy, our God, who rest among the saints, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, <coughs> into the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes <coughs> praise the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. <coughs> Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. The Lord said to the Jews who had come to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens, the sheep hear his voice, and he calls out his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not heed them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. 
For behold, I was conceived in transgressions and sins my mother bore me. For behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me to hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desired sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer young bulls on your, offer, on your altar. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit at the intercession of the Holy Hierarch. O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion. Blot out my transgressions. Great was poured upon your lips, O devout Father, and you became a shepherd of Save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. <clears throat> Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise with the apostles, our fathers amongst the saints, the great hierarchs, the ecumenical teachers, Gregory the Theologian and John Chrysostom, Athanasius and Cyril and John the Merciful Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas Bishop of Myra, Spiridon Bishop of Trimethus, Nectadius of Pentapolis, the Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious Great Martyrs, George the Victorious, Demetrios the Mirobites, Theodore the Tyrant, and Theodore the General, Minas the Wonder Worker, the Hara Martyrs are all in Boston and left Thaddeus, the holy glorious and victorious martyrs, the glorious great martyr and all laudable ephemia, the holy and glorious martyrs, Thecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kitty, Aki, Virginie, <coughs> Marina, Paraskevi, and Irini, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, our father among the saints, Basil, the great archbishop of Caesarea and Cappadocia, whose memory we celebrate, and of all your saints, we beseech you, O only merciful Lord, Hear us, sinners, who pray to you, and have mercy on us. Kyrie <laughs> 
eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Through the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. As a base unshakable, you were presented to the Church, attributing the full dominion to mankind, and by your dogmas confirming this, a devout Basil, revealer of all to he revealer of heaven to all. Revealer of heaven to all. That goblet of self-control, <coughs> the mouth of wisdom, and the base of the dogmas, Basil the Great, shines brightly in the hearts of all. So come and let us stand in the house of God, gazing ardently and be thrilled by his miracles. And when their lustrous light has made us also shine, let us be warmed by the purifying spirit of his life, imitating his faith, ardor, and humility, through which he became the house of the true God. And let us extol him and cry out to him, O devout Basil, revealer of heaven to all. O devout Basil, <coughs> revealer of heaven to all. On January 1st, we celebrate the circumcision in the flesh of our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ. On this day, we also commemorate our Father among the Saints, Basil the Great, Archbishop, Archbishop of Caesarea in Cappadocia. On this day, the holy martyr Theodotus died by the sword. On this day, St. Gregory, the father of St. Gregory the Theologian, died in peace. By their holy intercessions, O God, have mercy on us. Amen. The Lord, who is powerful in battle, once exposed the bottom of the deep sea, and he drew his people through it on dry land, while there again he engulfed the enemies, for he is glorified. Israel treaded on the seas, swelling below, which had been rendered once again into dry land. Then the dark waters concealed all the Egyptians, riders together as a tomb laid in the water. By the mighty strength of the right of the Master. The Lord who bestows upon our rulers his might and exalts the horn of his own anointed ones was born of a pure virgin maid and now he goes to baptism. O oh, faithful, let us cry aloud and say there is no unholy like our God, and no one is righteous except for you, O Lord. <coughs> From the ancient snares of the gluttonous lions, whose teeth are broken, we all have been delivered. Let us exalt them, and our mouth let us widen, weaving melody from words unto the Logos, whose delight is to bestow gifts upon, it, upon us. When you thundered on the many waters, O Lord, unto your Son thus bearing witness, then he whom you once designated as the voice of the one who cries out in the desert heard your voice and filled with the Spirit, there present he cried aloud and said, You are the Christ, the wisdom and the power of God. Once purged by the fire of mystical vision, the prophet hymning the renewal of mortals, cried in a loud voice, energized by the Spirit, telling the ineffable words incarnation. He it is who crushed the power of the princes. He is Jesus, the author of life. 
He has come to loose the condemnation of first created Adam. Being God and thus not needing to be purified, in the Jordan he purifies the one who had fallen. He put to death the enmity, and therefore he grants the peace that passes all understanding. The Spirit cleansing has washed away from us now the dark and dirty enemy's poison venom. Therefore we have handed on a new unerring path which leads to happiness that has no access save to them whom God to himself reconcile. The voice of the Logos, the lantern of the light, the morning star that precedes the sun, the forerunner is here in the desert, crying to all the peoples, repent, and beforehand purify yourselves. Behold, among us is the Christ, who out of corruption redeems the world. With the blessed utterance and proclaim the Father, Him He produced from the womb, His beloved Son. Yes, He said, This is my own connatural offspring. Splendor of my light, now also born of mankind, <coughs> both my living word and the providence immortal. When the pious youth were thrown in the furnace, all aflame with fire, the angel of the Lord went down with them and drove out the fiery flame and moist whistling wind preserved them from a free of harm. Being thus refreshed in the flames, they gave glory, singing in gratitude, O supremely praise and most exalted Lord and God of the fathers, you are blessed. He who retarded once the towering fire within the furnace that held the pious young men burn the dragon's heads in the streams of the river and the stubborn stain of sin he has completely washed away therein with the dew of the spirit we pray we praise and we bless and we worship the lord Ooh. the furnace once in babylon displayed a paradoxical mystery by pouring out moisture that the Jordan was to receive in its streamly immaterial fire and hold the Creator when, his, we phys, when he physically was baptized. Him do the peoples all bless and exalt supremely unto all the ages. The created world exalts in its liberty, and sons of the light are they who once were darkened. Only the champion of darkness is groaning. Now let us formerly wretched in inheritance of the nations bless eagerly him who caused this. Let us honor and magnify in song Theotokos and mother of the light. O oh, my soul, magnify her who is higher in honor than the heavenly armies. Lady, from your virginal belly, you ignifably 
disembodied God, the luminary who arose before the sun, and the one who came down to us and dwelt among us bodily, O blessed and O holy one. You, O Theotokos, do we magnify. O my soul, magnify the Lord, who according to the law received <coughs> Receive circumcision. Christ the Savior did from a virgin come forth extraordinarily, for he surpassed the bounds of human nature all. He fulfilled the Mosaic law when he was duly circumcised in the flesh, according as the letter of the law proscribed. My soul magnify the Lord who on the eighth day received circumcision. Christ the Savior did come from, from a virgin, come from forth extraordinarily, for he surpassed the bounds of human nature. Oh, he fulfilled the Mosaic law when he knew was duly circumcised in the flesh, according as the letter of the Lord prescribed. Today the Master was circumcised in the flesh, and he was called Jesus. Come, let us with holiness celebrate the glorious festivities as we observe the name day of the Master Christ. For he is named Jesus today in a manner befitting God. And also let us magnify the memorial of the hierarchy. Oh, my soul magnify the one great among the hierarchs of holy father Basil. Basil, inasmuch you are a faithful sheep of the chief shepherd Christ, you followed in his steps for they were full of life. You delivered your very life, O Father, to the tyrant king and for the church. You valiantly brave danger, O all blessed one. Oh, my soul, oh, magnify. Days of the great who held the Caesarea. When that most pernicious of tyrants saw the sacred body of the Church of Christ to be adorned and put in order by your episcopacy, O Basil, he was thunderstruck and fell, for he could not endure the bright light of the Spirit that abode in you. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, O oh, my soul, magnify the power of the Godhead, that is three hypostases and also undivided. You were counted worthy, Basil, of, a, of the Apostles' teaching, chair the chorus of the mid-medal-winning martyrs of Christ. Tent of the hot patriarchs, delight of the prophets and the just, O mystic of the mother of God and worshiper of the Trinity. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. O my soul, magnify the ever virgin maid who from the curse has redeemed us. He who covers his upper chambers with the waters of the only Lord and who restrains the sea and cause the deep abyss to become dry, and who assumed the flesh from you, O virgin pure, goes urgently from Bethlehem to Jordan to be baptized in the flesh. O my soul, magnify the woman who is greater in honor and in glory than the armies of heaven. Every tongue is dumbfounded to extol as is worthy. A super mundane mind is dizzy praising you with him, so Theotokos. The 
nonetheless accept our faith since you are full of goodness. For you have seen our longing, indeed inspired by God, Lady, as the protectress of Christians, you do we magnify. O oh, my soul, magnify the ever virgin maid from the curse has redeemed us. O oh, all spotless brides, surpassing comprehension, are the wonders of your child, blessed birth, blessed mother. Through you obtaining comprehensive salvation, we bring you a gift in striking up of this worthy hymn of gratitude to your you our benefactress. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven <coughs> praise you, and to you we offer up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. You circumcise the covering of your soul, Holy Father, enamored with philosophy. In the world you shone forth yeah. like the sun by your miracles, thus enlightening the minds of the believers who obeys all the wise and godly minds. The fulfiller of his own law, thy creator of the ages, is circumcised in the flesh as an eighth day old infant, and he is wrapped in swaddling clothes as a mortal and, and is nursed on milk even while maintaining in his infinite power the entire world has gone who by his act orders all things. <coughs> oh.
Sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. As an adopted son of God, being reborn by holy baptism, you confess that he who in truth and nature before the ages is born and logos of God is an originate along with the Father and co-essential Holy One, and with the brilliance of your word and your treasured treatises, you have stopped the unbridled mouths of the heretics. Therefore your residence is in the palaces there on high, you reign together with Christ who alone does naturally rule as king, obeys all and treat him, who abundantly distributes great mercy to the world. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and flute. Into the church in heaven have you gone, O devout one, as a more sacred hierarch. The vestments that you are wearing are contemplation of God, and the active life as wisdom's principles. And now as you stand near God, and you serve as a hierarch, as the supernal holy altar, O holy one, and you celebrate the immaterial liturgy. O blessed and compassionate Saint Basil, remember us, who now observe your all sacred and highly honored memorial. Christ pray in earnest and implore him to bestow his great mercy on the world. Praise him with the resounding symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Totally consecrated to God, were you from childhood and devoted in every way. The light of transcendent wisdom illuminating your soul. You made clear the knowledge of all that exists. 
explicit, explaining the explaining explicitly and relating sagaciously the balanced order of creation and made of this an occasion for more divine knowledge, Holy One. Therefore we loudly do proclaim that you speak the words of God as a divine sacred teacher and as the church's bright shining star. And thus we extol Christ who abundantly distributes great mercy to the world. Teaching the reasonable sheep to behave in the Trinity. circumcision of the flesh when he was eight days old as regards his mother while as regards his father on a <clears throat> to him O let us cry aloud, you are our God, have mercy on us. To you showed the light, glory in the highest to God, his peace, his on earth, his good pleasure in mankind. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord, King, <coughs> Heavenly God, Father, Ruler over all, Lord, only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the you, the Holy Spirit. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, who take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sin of the world. 
Accept our supplication, you sit at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are holy, you alone are Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, amen. Every day I will bless you, and your name will I praise to eternity and to the ages of ages. Lord, save, O oh Lord, this day that we be kept without sin. Blessed are you, O oh Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name to the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statue. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statue. Lord, you have been a refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I have fled to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy to those who know you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Agi os o Theos, agi os iskiros, agi os satanatos eleison imas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. This holy house and for those who enter it <coughs> with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> for our Archbishop Alexios, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, <coughs> let us pray to the Lord. <laughs> our country, the president, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. favorable weather for an abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times let us pray to the Lord mercy. for those who travel by land sea and air the sick the suffering the captives and for their salvation let us pray to the Lord mercy. for our deliverance from all affliction wrath danger and necessity let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκους ο τέρσος ον ημάς. Sing now to his name through the intercessions of the Θεοτόκος, Savior, save us. Διήσαστε πάντα τα θαυμάσια αυτού, τες πρεσβείες της Θεοτόκους ο τέρσος ον Say to God, how fearful are your works through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Doxa patri keio keio phlegmati kenin keai keis tu seon as to neon non amin tes presvies tis Theotokos so tersos onima. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is dominion, and yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth greatly rejoice. Save us, O Son of God, who were circumcised in the flesh 
we sing to you, Alleluia. Asete to Kyriu, asma kenon, asete to Kyriu, pasai, sosun imasi etheu, os arki peritim pmithis psalondas i Alleluia. From Zion in beauty and splendor, save us, O Son of God, who were circumcised in the flesh. We sing to you, Alleluia. O Theos, Simon, and Torano, and ye, Panda, O Sai, Thelis, and Epise, so, so, ni masi e theu, o sarki perit mythis, psalonda si alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation <coughs> to take flesh from the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered death by death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, <clears throat> glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and Beba Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you, O God, are good and love mankind, and to you we offer up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, I will sing of your mercies forever. In essence, being God most compassionate Master, you assume human nature without transmutation, fulfilling the law of your own will. You accepted circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord, Glory to your compassion, glory to your inexpressible condescension, O world. Wisdom, arise, come let us worship and bow down be. For Christ, save us, O Son of God, who were circumcised in the flesh. compassionate master you assumed human nature without transmutation fulfilling the law of your own will you accepted circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove 
the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your compassion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O Word. Your proclamation went forth into all the earth, for it accepted your word, to which you taught the dogmas befitting God. You expounded on the nature of all that is, and you arranged the morals of society. A royal priesthood devout Father Basil intercede with Christ our God to have mer grant us his great mercy. Metamorphosis in Tori Christe o Theos Dixas tis mathites utin doxan su kathos idin anto Lamson ke imin tis amatolis to fosu to idion Presvies tis theotoku fotodota doxasi Transfigured upon the mountain, O Christ our God, showing to your disciples your glory as much as they could bear, to also in us sinners, though we may be, shine your everlasting light. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, O giver of light, Glory to you. As the Master over all has undergone circumcision, so he cuts away the sins of humankind in his goodness. On this day upon the world he bestows salvation and on high. Does the Creator's hierarch Basil now rejoice for he is known as a most divine and light bearing mystic of Christ? Let us pray to the Lord. For you are God, our holy. And to you we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ah, uh, 
Let us be attentive. My mouth shall speak wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall bring forth understanding. Hear this, all people. Wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, See to it that no one makes a prey of you by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the universe, and not according to Christ. For in him the whole fullness of deity dwells bodily, and you have come to fullness of life in him, who is the head of all rule and authority. In him also you are circumcised with a circumcision made without hands, by putting off the body of the flesh in the circumcision of Christ. And you are buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Peace be with you who read. Alleluia, alleluia, Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. At the end of eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And the child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover, and when he was twelve years old, he went according to the custom. And when the feast was ended, they were returning. The boy, Jesus, stayed behind in Jerusalem. The parents did not know it, but was supposing him to be in the company of other folk. They went on a day's journey. And he, when, when he they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem, seeking him. After three days, they found him in the temple, sitting with the teachers, listening to them, and asking them questions, and all who heard him were as under amazed at his understanding and his answers. And they said they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? And they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was obedient to them. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in the favor with God and man. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. 
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Wisdom that if regarded by your might, we may ascribe glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. We give thanks to you, Lord God of hosts, who has made us worthy to stand even now before the holy altar of sacrifice and to fall down before you, seeking your compassion for our sins and those commanded to be used by the people. Accept, O God, our supplication. Make us worthy to offer your prayer supplications and blood the sacrifices for all your people. By the power of your Holy Spirit, make us and you have appointed through this your ministry, free of blame or stumbling, and with the witness of a clear conscience, able to call upon you.
Complete our prayer to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask the Lord. a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For that which is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace for the world, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. Complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. And let us
let us ask for a Christian end to our life, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good defense before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Lord our God, you created us and brought us into this life. You have shown us the way to salvation and have bestowed upon us the revelation of the heavenly mysteries. You have appointed us to this service by the power of your Holy Spirit. Grant, therefore, O Lord, that we may be accepted servants of your new covenant and ministers of your holy mysteries. Accept us as we draw near to your holy altar, according to the multitude of your mercy, that we may be worthy to offer you this spiritual sacrifice without the shedding of blood for our own sins and for the transgressions of the people. Grant that having accepted this sacrifice upon your holy, heavenly, and spiritual altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, you may be in return send down upon us the divine grace of your Holy Spirit. Look upon us, O God, and consider our worship, and accept it as you did accept the gifts of Baal, Abel, the sacrifices of Noah, the burnt offerings of Abraham, the priestly offices of Moses and Aaron, the peace offerings of Samuel, as you accepted this true worship from your holy apostles, accept also in your goodness, O Lord, these gifts that are from the, us, the hands of us sinners, that having deemed us worthy to serve at your holy altar without blame, we may obtain the reward of the faithful servants in the fearful day of your just judgment. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and forever <coughs> into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all. And with your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. <laughs> Tas theodas, tas theodas, and Sophia proskomen, the doors, the doors, in wisdom let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand arrive, let us stand in awe, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. Master, Lord our God, worshipful Father Almighty, it is truly just and right to, to the majesty of your holiness to praise you, to hymn you, to bless you, to worship you, to give thanks to you, to glorify you, the only true God, and to offer to you this our spiritual worship with a contrite heart and a holy, humble spirit. For you have given us to know your truth. Who is worthy to praise your mighty acts, or to make known all your praises, or to tell all of your wonderful deeds at all times? 
Master of all things, Lord of heaven and earth, and of every creature visible and invisible, you are seated upon the throne of glory and behold the depths. You are without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, beyond words, unchangeable. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of our hope, the image of your goodness, the true seal of revealing in himself you, the Father. He is the living word, the true God, the eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, and the true light. Through him, the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of our future inheritance, the first fruits of the eternal blessings, the life-giving power, the source of sanctification through whom every rational and spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification. For all things are subject to you, for you are praised by the angels, archangels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and the many-eyed cherubim. Round about you stand the seraphim, one with six wings and the other with six wings. With two they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, with two they fly, crying out to one another with unseen ceasing voices and ever resounding praises, singing the triumphal hymn, exclaiming, proclaiming, and saying, Together with these blessed powers, Master, who loves mankind, we sinners also cry aloud and say, Truly are you are holy and most holy, and truly there are no bounds to the majesty of your holiness. You are holy in all your works, for with righteousness and true judgment you have ordered all things for us. For having made man by taking dust from the earth and having him honored with your own image, O God, you placed him in a garden of delight, promising him eternal life and the enjoyment of the everlasting blessings in the observance of your commandments. But when he disobeyed you, the true God who had created him and was led astray by the deception of the serpent became subject to death through his own transgressions. You, O God, in your righteous judgment, expelled him from paradise into this world, returning him to the earth from which he was taken, yet providing for him the salvation of regeneration in your Christ. For you did not forever reject your creature with whom you have made, O good one, nor did you forget the works of your hands. But because of your tender compassion, you visited him in various ways. You sent forth prophets. You performed mighty works by your saints, who in every generation have pleased you. You spoke to us by the mouths of your servants, the prophets, announcing to us the salvation which was to come. You gave us the law to help us. You appointed guardians, angels as guardians. And when the fullness of time had come, you spoke to us through your Son himself, through whom you created the ages. He being the splendor of your glory and the image of your be being, upholding all things by the word of his power, thought it not robbery to be equal with you, God and Father. But being God before all ages, he appeared on earth and lived with humankind. Being incarnate from a holy virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, conforming to the body of our lowliness, so that he might change us in the likeness of the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world, and through sin death, it pleased your only begotten Son, who is in your bosom, God and Father, born of a woman, the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, born under the law to condemn sin in his flesh, so that those who died in Adam may be brought to life in him, your Christ. You lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation, releasing us from the delusions of idolatry. He guided us to the sure knowledge of you, the true God and Father. He acquired us for himself as his chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit, he gave himself as a ransom to death, in which we were held captive, sold under sin. 
descending into Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he loosed the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened a path for all flesh to the resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life should be dominated by corruption. So he became the first forts of those who had fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things. Ascending into heaven, he sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passion, he has left us these gifts which have set forth before you according to his commandments. For when he was about to go forth to his voluntary, ever memorable, and life-giving death, on the night in which he was delivered up, and for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy and pure hands, and presenting it to you, the God and Father, and offering thanks and blessing and sanctifying and breaking it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Lavete fagete tutumo estito soma, do iparimon crominon, isafasime martion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, and having mingled it and offering it, giving thanks and blessing and sanctifying it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Pietex aftu pandes, tu tostito e mamu, totis kinis diatikis, tu iperimon kipolonic inomenon, Isafis in the Amen. Do this in remembrance of me, for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also, having remembering his saving com- com- passion and life-giving cross, his three-day burial and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven and throne at the right hand, God and Father, and his glorious and second coming again. Your own of your own we offer to you in all and for all. fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the Theotokos Endeavor Virgin Mary. Oh, 
Son of angels and the human race, O consecrated temple and spiritual paradise, the most of virgins from the Fill their treasuries with every good thing. Preserve their marriages and peace and harmony. Nurture the infants. Instruct the youth. Strengthen the aged. Give courage to the faint-hearted. Reunite those se separated. Bring back those in error and unite them to your holy Catholic and apostolic church. Free those who are held captive by unclean spirits. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. Defend the widows. Protect the orphans. Liberate the captives. Heal the sick. Remember, Lord, those who are in mines, in exiles, in harsh labor, and those in every a kind of affliction, necessity, or distress, those who entreat your loving kindness, those who love us and those who hate us, those who have asked us to pray for them, unworthy though we may be. Remember, Lord our God, all your people, pour out your rich mercy upon them and grant them their petitions for salvation. Remember, O Lord our God, all those whom we have not remembered through ignorance, forgetfulness, or because of the multitude, since you know the name and age of each, even from their mother's womb. For you, Lord, our God, are the helper and the savior of the afflicted, the haven of the voyager, the physician of the sick. Be all things to all. You who know each person, his request, his household, and his need. Deliver this community and city, O Lord, and every city and land from famine, plague, earthquake, flood, fire, sword, invasions of foreign enemies, and civil war. Above all, remember our Archbishop Alexios. Grant him that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honor, and healthy for many years. Rightly teaching the word of your truth. And remember those whom each one of us has in mind and all the people. And all the people. Remember, Lord, all Orthodox bishops who rightly teach the word of your truth. Remember, Lord, my unworthiness according to the multitude of your mercies. Forgive my every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Do not take away the grace of your Holy Spirit from these gifts presented because of my sins. Remember, Lord, the presbyters, the diaconate in Christ, and every order of the clergy. And do not confound any of us who stand about your holy altar. Visit us with your goodness, Lord. Manifest yourself to us through your rich compassion. Grant us seasonable weather and fruitful seasons. Send gentle showers upon the earth so that it may bear fruit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness. Prevent schism in the churches. Pacify the ragings of the heathen. Quickly stop the uprisings of heresies by the power of your Holy Spirit. Receive us all into your kingdom. Declare us to be sons and daughters of the light and of the day. Grant us your peace and love, Lord our God, for you have given all things to us. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with all of you. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, 
Let us pray to the Lord. That our God, who loves mankind, having accepted them at his holy and celestial and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Having asked for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Our God, the God who saves, you teach us justly to thank you for all the good things that you have done and still do for us. You are our God who has accepted these gifts. Cleanse us from every defilement of flesh and spirit and teach us how to live in holiness by your fear so that receiving the portion of your holy gifts with a clear conscience, we may be united with the holy body and blood of your Christ. Having received them worthily, may we have Christ dwelling in our hearts and may become a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes, O our God, let none of us be guilty before these your awesome and heavenly mysteries, nor be infirm in body or soul by partaking of them unworthily, but enable us, even up to our last breath, to receive a portion of your holy gifts worthily as a provision for eternal life and as an acceptable defense of the awesome just judgment seat of your Christ, so that we also, together with all the saints who through you the ages have pleased you, may become partakers of your eternal good things, which you, Lord, have prepared for those who love you. And grant us, with but Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to dare to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our oh, Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with all, and with your spirit, let us bow our heads to the Lord, to you, Lord. Lord, Master, Father of mercies and God of every consolation, bless, sanctify, guard, fortify, and strengthen those who have bowed their heads before you. Distance them from every evil deed. Lead them to every good work and make them worthy to partake without condemnation of these your most pure and life-giving mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for the communion of the Holy Spirit. Through the grace, compassion, and love for mankind of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Hearken, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom, and come to sanctify us, you who are enthroned with the Father on high and are present among us and visibly here, and with your mighty hand grant communion of your most pure body and precious blood to us and through us to all the people. Let us be attentive, proscomen, the holy gift for the holy people of God. O Lord, that you are truly the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and in deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. Behold, I approach for Holy Communion, O Creator, burn me not as I partake. For you are fire which burns the unworthy, wherefore do you cleanse me from every stain. Tremble, O mortal, beholding the divine blood, for it is to the unworthy as a live coal. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me, deifies my soul, and wondrously nourishes my mind. 
How shall I, the unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me. Since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, O Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but let them be for the cleansing and sanctification of my soul and body, and for the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and with your divine love have you changed me. But do you burn away with spiritual fire my sins, and make me worthy to be filled with the joy of you, that rejoicing in your goodness I may magnify both your advents. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your adversaries, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but as the thief will I confess to you. Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Praise the Lord from the heavens, hallelujah. Mm
Fear of God and with faith and love draw near. Today, O Son of God, as a partaker of thy mystical feast, for I will not speak of the mystery to thine enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief will I confess you. Lord, remember me in your kingdom. Master, remember me in your kingdom. O Holy One, remember me in your kingdom. Tu dipnu su tu mistiku simeron iethu, ki non non me paralave. Umiga ti sek frisu to misteri onipo, bo filimasi doso katha pero iudas. Alos olisti somologosi, nisti timu kiri endi vasiliasu. Nisti timu despota endi vasiliasu, nisti timu agi endi vasiliasu. Sophia, 
Que me letitis cardias musinesin. Alleluia. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Alleluia. He who walks blamelessly and works righteousness. Alleluia. He who has innocent hands and a pure heart, he who does not lift up his soul to vanity. Alleluia. I proclaim righteousness in the in the great church. Alleluia. Uk ekripsa to eleo su ketina lithian su aposinago is polis. Alleluia. Tindi ke osin in su uk ekripsa enti cardia mu. Alleluia. I declared your truth and your salvation. Alleluia. I will declare your name to my brethren. In the midst of the church, I will sing to you. Alleluia. Body, blood of Lord Jesus Christ, for the mission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. Michael, the servant of God, Michael, protects the precious and holy. Body, blood of Lord Jesus Christ, for the mission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. The servant of God, Michael, protects the precious and holy. Body, blood of Lord Jesus Christ, for the mission of sins and life everlasting. Amen. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Morfina nali otos anthropinim proselaves teos on catusian poli esplacne kirie que nomon ekliron peritomin Telisi kata dexis arkikin, o pos pavsis taski odi, ke peri elis to kalim nato pathon himon, doxati agathoti titisi, doxati esplagnia su, doxati anacre. Na ne krasto lo yesin katavasi su. In essence, being God most compassionate master, you assume human nature without transmutation. Fulfilling the law of your own will, you accepted circumcision in the flesh to bring an end to the shadow and to remove the passions that cover us. Glory to your benevolence, O Lord. Glory to your passion. Glory to your inexpressible condescension, O God. Always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouths be filled with your praise, O Lord, that we may sing of your glory. 
you have made us worthy to partake of your holy mysteries. Keep us in your holiness that all day long we may meditate upon your righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Ah. Arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-creating, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, Lord our God, for the communion of your holy and most pure and heavenly mysteries which you have granted for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Grant, Master of all, that the communion of the holy body and blood of your Christ may become for us faith unashamed, love unfeigned, fullness of wisdom, healing of soul and body, repelling of every hostile adversary, observance of your commandments, and an acceptable defense at the judgment seat of your Christ. For you are our sanctification, and to you we offer glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. O oh Christ our God, you accept this rational and bloodless sacrifice as a sacrifice of praise and pleasing worship. You are the Lamb and Son of God who takes away the sins of the world, the blameless young bull that does not accept the yoke of sin, and who offered for us your own will. You are broken but not de de divided, eaten yet never depleted, and sanctify those who eat. Indeed, you made us partakers of your holy body and precious blood, this ineffable, heavenly, and awesome sacrament, in the remembrance of your voluntary passion and life-giving res resurrection on the third day. Preserve us in your holiness, us your servants who minister, who govern faithfully, and those in the armed forces, and the people here in attendance, and grant us to mediate your righteousness at all times and in every season, so that being guided to your will and doing what is pleasing to you, we may become worthy to stand at your right hand when you come to judge the living and the dead. Rescue our brethren who are captives, visit those who are ill, plot, pilot drive tra travelers who are in danger, and give rest to the souls of all who have fallen asleep in the hope of eternal life, where the light of your face shines, and hear the prayers of all who need your help. For you are the giver of good things, and to you we send up glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Your proclamation went forth into all the earth, for it accepted your word, through which you taught the dogmas befitting God. You expounded on the nature of all that is, and you arranged the morals of society. A royal priesthood, devout Father Basil, intercede with Christ our God to grant us his great mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your steadfast love. We pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for the faithful and orthodox Christians. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for our Archbishop Alexios and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, the members, trustees, supporters, and benefactors of this holy church, and the servants of God, all those, Maria and Constantinos, and their 
and their family and all those who celebrate this holy feast. For you are a loving God, and to you we offer a glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord our God, who have placed times and seasons under your own authority, who in your infinite compassion and goodness have counted as worthy to enter a new year in your loving kindness, bless Bless it, bless this year, and keep us in peace. Lose, remit, and forgive any sins that we have committed during this year is, that is past. And keep us free from sin in the new year. Enlighten us with the light of your truth and your divine commandments. Establish in our souls your holy will and guide us to every work that is good and pleasing to you. Guard well our holy church with your divine grace. Remember, Lord, our nation. Train up the youth, protect the elderly, encourage the faint-hearted, gather the scattered, bring back those who have gone astray, and reunite them to your holy church. Overshadow our land with your might, and grant it gentle rain and abundance of the fruits of the earth. Speak of goodness in the hearts of our rulers. Support and strengthen them together with our own forces by land, sea, and air, so that in their tranquility we may lead our life in every piety and dignity. Let your kingdom come upon us, O Lord, the kingdom of love, goodness, peace, and justice, and make us worthy to praise and glorify with one mouth and one heart your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We're going to cut the Vasilobita. So what is going to happen after the, after we uh, do the apologies first and then we, yeah. Glory to you, Christ our God, who glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, give the blessing. May he who condescended to be circumcised on the eighth day for our salvation, Christ, that through God, through the intercession of his all pure Holy Mother, by the power of the precious life of the cross, through the intercession of the holy bodiless powers of heaven, the supplication of the honor of the glorious prophet of the John, for our nature of the Baptist, the holy glorious of the Lord, the apostles, the holy glorious of the earth and martyrs, of our righteous and God-bearing fathers, the holy and righteous answers of God, Joachim and Anna, our Father among the saints, Basil the Great, Archbishop of Caesarea of Cabalagia, and his mother Amelia, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints, May you have mercy upon us and save us for his good and merciful love of humankind through the prayers of our Holy Father, so Lord Jesus Christ our God. Have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today and always to bless you, protect you. Kronia Bolat to those who celebrate any basils, Vasilias. Oh, Amelia, yes, of course. And we have Amelia, and you're Amelia too, it's celebrated today. And, yeah, sorry. Um, we'll do the, we'll cut the Vasilobita, and then we'll do the sermon, yeah. All right, very good. Uh, please be seated. And I thank uh, Maro for making the Vasilobita for us. And we're going to cut them. In celebration of St. Basil, according to the tradition, on the first of the year when his name day is celebrated. Um, we're going to do this on Sunday as well, but the, the appropriate day. We're going to do it on Sunday for the whole parish. But today we're doing it for you. Very special. And this, these Vaslobitas are very special. They're always very special because Maro does the best job you can ever do. 
In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yeah. Well, I assume that everybody does, but yeah, we can talk about it. Yeah. Um, this tradition goes back to the fourth century, the time of Saint Basil, and uh, according to at least one of the stories, the. Uh, the Persians invaded the area of Cappadocia. Um, there were raids, of, the Persians were always raiding, raiding the Roman Empire. And uh, the area where St. Basil was in Cappadocia was raided again. And a lot of people were taken hostages as hostages, and uh, they needed, and, the, and the, the captives wanted ransom, they wanted money. So St. Basil did a drive and collected uh, silver, gold, jewelry of all kinds in order to, to be given to the uh, captors and release the captives. And in the end, the Roman army went after them, the Christian Roman army by this time, right? Went after them and was able to defeat the Persians and recapture and free the people who were taken captives. So the ransom that they collected was left and they didn't know what to do with it. They couldn't return it to the people, they didn't know who gave what. So St. Basil ordered the women of the Philoptos, okay? There was, no, there was no such organization, but I'm saying here that he asked the women to bake loaves of sweet bread. And in, the, in that, they put the coins and the jewelry that they collected, and then they gave it to the poor families. Instead of giving them money and giving them a coin and giving them whatever, which is more kind of disrespectful and putting them down. They gave them a loaf of sweet bread and in it they would find whatever it was which they utilized for their own benefit and their families. So in honor of St. Basil, his love for the poor and the caring of the poor that he did through the organizations that he created at the time laughing at Presidente Hogan, like little sacks, you know, walking out. God bless mothers. <laughs> so in honor of St. Basil, we do this every year, and we remember his kindness to the poor and all the good things that he did to help them. So, um, we cut the Vasilopita in the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, and then the first piece goes to Christ, right? That's normal. And the second piece goes to the Theotokos. And whoever finds the coin is the blessed one of the year. So let's see. Oh, well, God is blessed anyway, so he doesn't need a coin. <laughs> The third one goes to St. Basil. And then we cut one for our bishop. Bishop Alexios gets one. And since we have a second bishop now that he comes around, we'll give this one to Bishop Sebastianos. Where is he? All right, he didn't get anything, so. <laughs> okay, then we go to the clergy. The first one, we go to Father George.
because he is the eldest. Okay. The next one goes to me because I'm the next in age. <laughs> and then Father John gets the next one. Hello, Father John. Because he is next to me in age. Okay. Oh, you have one? All right, very good. And then our younger priest gets the next one. Hello, brother. Okay. I'm not going to cut for all the, all the uh, ministries today, but I will do... Uh, I will do the parish council. Parish council gets a piece, and then the Philoptimus gets a piece, and we got the president of the was here, so would you please come? Yeah. Leslie? Who is the parish council? Oh, yeah. And, Andrew's here. Andy? Andy, come for the parish oh, council, Danica. please. Good stuff, so you're gonna like it. <laughs> um, shall I cut with someone else? Yanko, Yanko gets one. Where are you, Yanko? It's right here. Oh, we forgot Father Andrew. Hmm? Father Andrew's here. Oh, Father Andrew, we'll get okay. um, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get only Father Andrew, not only Father Andrew, but. Father Michael. Father Michael, of course. Father Andrew, you're younger than me, so you're going to get a big piece. Come, come up, please. And Father Michael. May the new year be a blessed one. And to you. Yeah, and a healthy one. Thank you. Father Michael, I was thinking of you and wondering. Uh, if you're okay, is everything okay? Thank God. Yeah, thank, thank God. God. I'm older than all of you. Huh? I'm older than all of you. You're older than all of us? Certainly. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to give a piece to the lady who made it. Maro. And you know what? She got the coin. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Can you retire? Oh, yes, of course. Depends what she put in it. If it's gold, <laughs> then you can retire. She'll get a Kruger end if she goes to South Africa. Say again? She'll get a Kruger end if she goes to South Africa. Oh, she will. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, there is plenty for everybody, so you're all going to get uh, a piece. Oh, yeah, Yanko, yeah, we forgot about Yanko. Where are you, Elder Yanko? Yanko, always, yeah. And we're going to give one to Casey as well. And Paul, and Paul. And Paul, and Michael. All of these people have been making this church better for years and they deserve to be honored and recognized. Yeah, what is Michael? Oh, okay. Here is from Michael. And, and Paul is going to get a bigger one. Stefano, shall we give one to Stefano? Yes, of course, why not? Hello, Stefano. 
Would you like some? Is it good? Okay, let's plant it, cut and bring for everybody. So please feel uh, the presbyteros. They can, they can get it. We'll share ours. The priest will share with them. <laughs> they have to learn to share. So, <laughs> all right, somebody should cut it and for everybody and make make it possible for everybody to have some. How many do you see? You can see. Well, we have a second one as well. So. It's really good, so you want another piece. <laughs> okay. Well, Father John, sermon. I was, I was just going to say that uh, if that's a little bit of the story you tell, that could be the sermon. Oh, <laughs> well, make it to make it into that. Okay. Just very briefly. Um, Last night at Vespers, I read a brief account of the life of uh, the saint who we were honoring this day, St. Basil the Great. And there are three, th three things that uh, jumped out at me uh, in his story. First of all, he was a very, very highly educated person. Again, he was, he was one of the, as many of right. our other theologians, the three in. hierarchs. Uh, God had raised up three men that, that would go on to become founders of the, or the, uh, the establishers of finders of Christian doctrine. And Basil oh the Great was one of those. He had that equivalent of those days of a Harvard, MIT, or Yale type degree. He was that well educated. And so uh, that, that's one of the things. That, and God used what he had received in his, in his uh, education. That, that is why he became a scholar. That's why he was able to be a careful definer of the terms of the Trinity, especially the Holy Spirit. This is why his books were so deep, that he was a student of the Bible and the fathers that preceded him. And so that's one of the reasons it was because of that part of his life, the revealer and the great, as we are, are, are often referred to him. And then there's the, uh, another aspect of them, the second aspect of them, and he was very, very ascetical. And in a very positive way, and I think sometimes he, he, he basically chose, even though he came from a very wealthy family, uh, he basically gave everything away. He left us voluntarily and intentionally impoverished himself and uh, basically cut off every tangible connection between him and the world. And this gave him great boldness. There's a story that I read last night that's a great story that the Aryan emperor sent an emissary to Basil the Great and said, if you don't fight the Aryan, if you, if you, uh, unless you stop fighting the Aryans, we're going to do bad things. Beat you, we're going to imprison you, we'll, we uh, uh, deport you, and maybe even kill you. Most people would, would be, oh, well, please don't do that. Basil responded to them, him by saying, go ahead. He said, basically, there's nothing you can do to me. What are you going to do, steal all my property? I have no property except for some clothes, like a couple of things and several books, so you can't enrich yourself. There's not much left of my life you can take away from me. You want to deport me? That's fine, because I am a citizen of the world. The world is, is where God has placed me. One part of, of the earth is just as good as the other. You do me no harm if you deport me. If you beat me, if you, if you torture me, he said, that's fine too, because I'm, I'm frail, and I not, don't have a very strong body. The fir very first blow is going to kill me. All you're doing is send me, sending me to the God that I adore and can't wait to, 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 to uh, uh, see. And so... And the emissary said, I've never been talked to that uh, by, uh, I have never been so, gotten a response like that from the people that I, usually they cower and flee and run, will do anything. And here you are saying what you said. He says, that's because you never met a bishop. That's what Basil said. And so this was a very powerful, it's very, very difficult in our culture to remove ourselves and extricate ourselves from sinking our roots into this world 
as, uh, as is often helpful. He was a true ascetic called to that. Not everyone is called to that. But yet, the more that we have less of our sunk into the world and the less tentacles suck, uh, inserted into us, the more we're like Basil, the less we have to fear any. Second thing that he says, and the third thing about him is he specialized in in a ministry to the poor, to the needy. You heard this story that this this wonderful tradition of the church, of uh, the Fasolotica, is a perfect example. But he set up a, 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 a the, the most splendid hospitals of his day. He set up a house and places for travelers to come. It was basically what we would call homeless shelters all over the place for people who needed. To to come in from the cold to be protected and sheltered from the, from the elements, and so he. Uh, so this is a, a third part. The third part of the thing that I very often uh, people uh, who are uh, great scholars may not be very good at other things, or, or maybe if, if uh, uh, they are brave and ascetical, but they're bleak and other things. But he did it all. He had the most Christ-like heart to those who are in need, who are poor. And so that has continued down into the life of the church. So as those three uh, pillars of the life of St. Basil the Great, who we, com we commemorate this day, let those be building blocks for our own life that we may share in. We cannot all have uh, PhD level educations in, in, uh, in rhetoric. We cannot all, if we have families, we can often not t totally disentangle ourselves from the material uh, needs of the world, but we can always be compassionate towards the poor, just like Basil was, and th these are the lessons he teaches us this day. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, and through the prayers of St. Basil, the great Archbishop of Cappadocia, that heaven reveal the great, may the Lord God have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Holy Trinity, grant you protection this day and always. Please come forward for uh, for a uh, blessing and and, and uh, blessed bread, Dr. Uh, Clancy, and we will have a blessed rest. Happy New Year to everyone. And again, as Father said, happy Cornelia uh, Palat to all those who who celebrate their names days today. Have a blessed day. Now, we need uh, Ron. Yes, yes, no, I'm, yes, indeed, for first. Bless the Lord. Adam.